on a beautiful night at Parkview Field, a beautifully played game. And the Tidcaps salvage the split in the four-game series with West Michigan and make it a winning homestand. And Tidcaps four and three over the last week at Parkview Field. Fort Wayne had only one run on Sunday afternoon. It was driven in by Carlos Baylen, and sure enough, in the first sitting tonight, Baylen an RBI single to plate Rudy Hirone. One nothing. Tin Caps. Very next batter, Michael Geddes, with a base knock two, and that made it two nothing. Tin Caps against Sandy Baez and the White Caps after one. Wouldn't see any more offense until the sixth inning with two outs. Ty France with a timely opposite field double that added a bit of insurance. Made it 3 0 Fort Wayne and three runs would prove to be plenty tonight with the outstanding pitching performance of the birthday boy, Logan Allen. Happy 19th birthday to you, Logan. A career long six innings, allowed only two measly hits as he struck out five, didn't walk anyone, didn't hit anyone, hardly fell behind all night. It was a tremendous pitching ever. That was, to me as a former pitcher, that was exciting for me to watch, knowing how he diced up the hitters how he set him up properly with fastball, curveball, and changeup mix. Tremendous effort for that young man. He was followed up by two innings of relief from Gerardo Reyes and then Trey Winginner with the save in the ninth. That's a game you can catch tomorrow night on ESPN Radio 1380 and 100.9 FM as well as on TitCapsRadio.com and via the TuneIn Radio app. Well. That does, it up. that does it for us here at Parkview Field. For everyone behind the scenes on our hardworking Tin Cap TV crew, and for my partner, Javier De Jesus, this is John Nolan saying thank you and so long for Parkview Fields. This has been a Tin Caps production.